Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say Okay, guys, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so I'm going to answer a question. It was a question that was asked, obviously, by one of the subs. And, um, I mean, not obviously, they don't have to be subs to comment, but um, it was one of my subs. And um, so he asked, after watching that video, and it's a good question because a lot of people ask it, actually. And so he asked if um, he went to prison and he was on the bup and he started to sell it, like, would he have any issues or, or, you know, would someone just come and take the lot? And so I'll tell you exactly what I told um, the my subscriber. And and that that is like, um, you know, if you're not willing to die for that every single day, then I would get off it. I wouldn't even think about going to prison and making all this money, what you hear about people making in prison. Because if you are a nobody and you come to jail and you don't know anyone and you're not willing to die for that every single day, well, someone's going to take that straight off you. I promise you, it's going to take it straight off you. And um, so, um, yeah, and I, 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 so I gave him an example. And so, like I said, if you came to, um, the prison that I was in and, um, I was using bup every day and I come and asked you if you could chop me out every day for free and you said no, cause you get it for free in prison. And, um, and if you said no to me, and I knew that you were giving it to other people for free. So if you're getting your bup out, you're obviously giving it to people for free. Do you know what I mean? And then obviously people pay for it as well. But like, I don't pay. And, um, you know, I am the non-payers crew. And um, so anyway, I said that if you if you told me no, that I couldn't get it off you, and and I knew that you were giving it to him, him and him, I'm just going to assume that you're saying that I'm a goose. And so then what I'm going to do is tomorrow when it's 10 a.m. and I know exactly where you get your bup, you can guarantee you that I'm going to be waiting at the end of that race there where you walk out to tell you, to tell you. Sorry, guys, technical difficulty. My dogs were going off. Um, but, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be waiting for you where you walk out and I'm going to be there with my big shank and I'm going to be there to tell you that today, because yesterday you said that I couldn't have one measly little bit and you're getting all this much and you're get, already getting it out. If you t if you had told me, no, I don't want to get it out, I don't want to get in any trouble, whatever, I'd say, all right, mate. But seeing as you told me that you were getting it out and you want to make money off it, but you don't want to give any to me, kick that whole boat over, mate. Otherwise, you're about to get this in your Gregory Peck. And I'm telling you, and um, <clears throat> I would just take the lot off you and, um, or, and, and probably a kidney, you know, and um, for, for making me me feel like that I'm a goose in a situation where I'm definitely not. So I'm going to let you know what I'm willing to do to get that bup. And, you know, I, I don't just say this, you know, this is like, like people will do this. Like I'm not one, one little one out of a big group that's going to do that. Every single person that's on that bup is willing to do that to you if you don't give them bup for free and that's the truth of it you you, you are getting thrown in, into the lions so to speak um you know and um yeah you are definitely getting thrown into the lions and and being on bup in a maximum security prison like port phillip barwon mrc like any of the maximum security prisons anywhere anywhere in australia i would assume that, that you would 100% be ready, you would want to hope that you are ready to fight for your bup every single day because even though you're going to have some people that's going to say, all right, mate, you're getting picked on every day, come with us, we're going to look after you, that's only them and that crew. Everyone else isn't going to give a shit that you're getting looked after by then. 
then me and all my mates are going to say, righto, let's take every single one of them out and grab that dude and make him come with us now, you know? And um, that's exactly what will happen and people do do it. And like the things, people have died in prison for bupe, 100 million percent. And like people will continue to get stabbed over bupe every single day in prison, you know, for not being able to pay their debts, having a bupe habit inside and 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 you know needing that otherwise you're going to go through withdrawals or are you going to be talking all heaps of shit to get whatever you can out of whoever you know and um i know i did and then worry about the consequences later and um still i never paid um but yeah like look it is what it is and like um you know the the it's it's literally 100 percent um law of the beast out there and and if you ain't willing to get down like the rest of the jungle and you're just going to get eaten alive and and i can't put it any any easier than that and um yeah so once again like i said in in that comment you know i'm just using you an example because you made the comment obviously you know if i knew that you <clears throat> that you were in prison in and i was in prison and i knew that you subscribed to my youtube bro, uh, you would be looked after bro you would be living your best life in prison i tell you that right now and if anyone came near you oh my god i would literally hit them that many times they would think they were surrounded and i promise you and that's how it would go down but um there you go guys like just another and and this is like the real reality of of today in prison you know i've said it that you know even up to 95 percent of all prisons is full of people taking suboxone you know buzzing out off their heads off the suboxone you know people i hear a lot of people say that you know it, it's not really like an opioid buzz it's really like an upper buzz you know when when you have it in the smaller doses and it's pretty crazy what it actually does and you know people people get very very addicted to it and um yeah that's just 100 percent how that is and just a quick note i also someone asked if i could do a a video on being an ice addict and maybe you misunderstood what i said in my video like i i have sold a lot of it in my past and but really i used it recreationally maybe for a few months it wasn't very big only had it maybe three or four times and then you know tried it in prison didn't like it bad shit happened anyway and like so um yeah like it, i i was never really a nice addict like yeah i did use it flat out for like a month and then i stopped because like i said my my, my son said if we find out you've used that again then we are going you know um but you know yeah i can definitely do a video on being a nice user and how crazy it is and all the fucking crazy shit that happens and comes along with that drug i will definitely definitely do a video on it and because like it is few and far between that can be an everyday ice user and not be wigging out all right, guys, Chaos Chronicles, my dogs are going off again. We are I'm out. I'm also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.